After using the Vision Pro for three days, I wanted to provide my thoughts about Apple's highly anticipated headgear. I'll discuss a few significant points. I also wanted to show off some of the top standout applications out of the gate in my mind. First of all, it's pretty comfortable. The weight is manageable in my view, and the light seal feels fantastic and comfortable at the same time. It's cozier than a Quest 2 or 3, and although it weighs about one pound and seven ounces, the MetaQuest 3 with the Bobo strap weighs about one pound and 15 ounces, giving Apple's Vision Pro a bit of an advantage. When the lighting is good, the pass-through is impressive, but it works okay in dimly lit areas. In my view, it's not really possible to use your smartphone and scroll comfortably at the same time. The phone is somewhat hazy and blown out, especially in dim light. And in general, I believe this is not very important because most people will work in virtual env environments. In real life, the pass-through is more than sufficient so you don't bump into objects when you're using it, which clearly was Apple's design goal. It seems like field of view is much better than Meta's Quest 3. The large field of view was the first thing I noticed after comfort. Outside light is effectively sealed out, contributing to the immersive nature of Vision Pro. And while the battery life is just about two and a half hours, that's more or less irrelevant since you'll generally be constantly seated and close to an outlet on a couch or a table. This device has the potential of becoming a huge productivity beast. Using an extra Bluetooth-enabled keyboard, I could type text, emails, etc. without relying on Vision Pro's virtual keyboard. The virtual keyboard is pretty good, but mo it's more of a hunt and peck uh, text tool that many users will find too inefficient for lengthy text entries. But Apple's real breakthrough with Vision Pro is the hand and eye tracking, which is excellent. In my three days of use, it works about 95% of the time, which will only get improved with software and firmware updates. And although it occasionally made mistakes and can be wrong, I was shocked how good it is out of the box. Good lighting, in my opinion, definitely affects tracking significantly, and it does feel Apple magical. But first things first, let's show off a few applications that stand out once you get Vision Pro out of the box, calibrated, and up and going. Encounters Dinosaurs is probably the standout app on the Vision Pro, and it's something you got to play with after you uh, set the thing up. Essentially, what it's doing, it's designed really to show off the the uh, the uh, AR chops of Vision Pro, and the special effects are, uh, are amazing. If you can see, there's a butterfly flying toward me. I feel I can reach out and touch it, which is amazing. And then when the butterfly flies back into the screen inside my um, office, you can see this wide panoramic view of prehistoric times. And if you watch carefully enough, you'll see little tiny dinosaurs, you know, floating around, bouncing down the uh, the rocks. And then, of course, wait till you see the the large um, dinosaur come through, and its its tail literally comes through my screen. So this is just a sign of things to come. But the attention to detail and the fidelity of the graphical images here, or the video images here, are absolutely amazing.
I could not resist showing this. This is Apple Books in uh, Vision Pro format. And the, as you can see, you can actually read this humongous book while you're doing other things using Vision Pro. It's amazing. This is one of the more amazing things I did with Vision Pro in the last three days. Uh, what I've been doing for the last several months is that I'm a big uh, Xbox uh, fan. I'm a huge fan of Madden football, as you can see. And simply what I've been using is an app called OneCast that allows me to stream um, Xbox games to my Mac. You can actually, there's uh, versions of the app that allows you to, to stream it to an iPad, um, which is really, really cool. Well, I thought about, well, what, can I take that iPad app, which, which Vision Pro is compatible with, and can I stream my Xbox Madden football game uh, to the uh, Vision Pro? And believe it or not, it does work and it's spectacular. One thing I did, and I wasn't really a big fan of, was using the Zoom app, the native Zoom app for Vision Pro, thinking that the personas that come with Vision Pro, which already got a little bit of criticism, they kind of look kind of creepy, and I'm not a big fan of it. But as you can see, I'm, I'm actually speaking with Leonard uh, Lee, one of my, uh, a, coll a colleague of mine with Next Curve Research. And as you can see, I look very sinister. He looks a bit weird, and I'm still not sure what's so effective about this usage, usage model. So it was something I had to try out. Yes, you can have Zoom calls on very large, you know, uh, like a, a large virtual screen, but not a big fan so far. And I can see, and I think you can see why. Here's a bit of uh, video footage, footage from the Vision Pro, just to show off the different backgrounds that come standard with it. Now I'm on the lunar, the, the lunar surface, and I'm just showing how the different menus kind of float around. They're very easy to access. This is one of the things I really think that Apple hit a home run with, is just to be able to navigate uh, Vision Pros using your eyes to look at different objects, and by just uh, clicking your fingers, or touching your fingers, I should say, you can move, resize, and move objects around. And uh, it's spectacular, and I think um, Apple really nailed it. That's the big, big win for Apple. One of the things I had to check out was actually producing some spatial, con spatial video content that the iPhone 15 Pro is capable of producing. And as you can see, now I did this in a very dimly lit room because the weather in San Jose was absolutely horrendous over the last couple of days. But when you put the Vision Pro on, of course, you can actually see video when you shoot it with your iPhone uh, 15 Pro or with the, with the goggles themselves. You can actually see video in a 360 format. Uh, pretty amazing. Um, I can't imagine what this would be like, you, you know, with some outdoor locations, but I was incredibly impressed. And this is going to be a big, big deal. All of this being said, the new Apple Vision Pro, the company's eagerly anticipated foray into the realm of wearable computing, is under a lot of strain. According to Apple, the 3,499 Vision Pro marks the advent of spatial computing, which is essentially the ability to run apps everywhere you look. Additionally, the company's advertisements for it, which fe feature people wearing Vision Pro constantly, do not even somewhat mitigate that pressure. At the office, laundering, having fun with the children, the goal is lofty to enhance reality by superimposing apps and data on the top of an actual real world. Meanwhile, Tim Cook and the rest of the Apple team have consistently stated that augmented reality will be far more helpful than virtual reality. The development of AR has been ongoing for a while. Higher end iPhones and iPads have been equipped with the LiDAR sensor, uh, depth sensors for a few years and developers have had access to AR qualities in iOS. Using all these concepts, Apple's first attempt to create a computer that functions the environment around you is the Vision Pro. The Vision Pro is intended to be fully functional and a gadget that can work in tandem with your Mac and iPad within Apple's ecosystem of gadgets. In addition to using Excel, WebEx, and Slack, 
The Vision Pro allows you to view movies and TV shows on an enormous virtual 4K HDR monitor while relaxing. Additionally, you may utilize the Vision Pro to view a sizable monitor that is floating in virtual space by mirroring the display on your Mac. This is one of the potential killer usage models in my view. While my three initial days with Vision Pro has been incredibly interesting, it's hard for me to recommend it for the average person at this point. Even putting aside the incredibly high $3,499 price point, not including accessories like an extra battery and carrying case. On the positive side, Apple has absolutely nailed the interface for this class of new AR solution. And given that it feels like an Apple iPhone or iPad when you use it, the learning curve is remarkably short. The image quality is nothing less than spectacular, especially when you view video content, whether it's simply HD or spatial, using an iPhone 15 Pro. But I still haven't seen the clear, undisputed killer app, which will make the average user, say a cheerleader mom from Castilla, California, run out to the nearest Apple store to spend such a big chunk of cash on it. I do think the product has an incredible, incredibly interesting potential in the education market beyond the sheer entertainment category, not to mention the breakthrough e-commerce apps that will allow you to shop in stores without leaving the comfort of your home. For me, Apple Vision Pro at this early stage is analogous to the iconic Broadway show, Men of La Mancha. Before that iconic show opened on Broadway in November, 1965, the show had an extensive tryout during the previous summer, and it was still very much of a work in progress. Upon seeing the early tryout of Men of La Mancha, a future investor was so impressed, told the show's creative team, I think it's, quite, it's not quite ready yet, but you have something special here. Viewed through that quixotic lens, Vision Pro has incredible potential, and what Apple has accomplished is nothing short of pulling the future into the present. It will be amazing to see what developers do with it over the coming months, and my guess is that with this new class of product, it will change the way we currently comprehend technology in our daily lives and the way we interact with others.